Hi YouTube, this is Archangel for Truth and today I wanted to talk to you about encounters with the police when you're operating your vehicle or correction, you're, when you're operating your uh, personal conveyance uh, while traveling on public roads. <clears throat> now something has happened where Police are starting to understand how to uh, get around your recording them. So what they're going to do is automatically they're going to get you out of, try, do whatever they can to get you out of the vehicle. And what you should do, and I'm, I'm simply expressing this as an opinion. So you have to take it on, on that as an opinion of my freedom of expression. So that is all I'm offering here. <clears throat> you can accept it, you can reject it, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. But ultimately, I'm offering you my opinion as to how you should address this. Now, first of all, the reason why a police officer, when you're traveling as a sovereign is going to pull you out of your vehicles because he knows that's where your recording devices are going to be inside your vehicle so he's going to try to get you out of that environment because he doesn't like the fact that you're going to record him and basically anything he says and does can be held against him. And he doesn't like being put in that uh, scenario. So that's why police are gonna pull you out. Now, they're gonna say their reasons for doing it is for safety, okay? And basically, they have that right for safety reasons to have you removed out of your vehicle. So um, that's something that the Supreme Court has made rulings on. And I guarantee you, when you uh, deal with law enforcement and you start asserting your rights, that's going to be what they're going to go to. And if you do not comply with them, what they will do is they will break your window and then ultimately arrest you for your fail failure to... Uh, failure to uh, follow a a lawful order. Okay, so that's that's how they're going to pursue it. So, my video for you today is simply what to do in that scenario, or uh, how I my opinion as regards to um, how one should uh, address that. <clears throat> So you got to understand, you got to be prepared for these encounters. And what I mean by prepared is, <clears throat> in addition to having your recording devices in your vehicle, I also recommend that you have some sort of audio recording uh, on your person as well. And uh, the reason why is because when they get you out of that vehicle, your recording of them is not going to be... Um, something that is going to be possible, but if you have a, a audio recorder or if your phone is able to audio record, then basically what you're doing is uh, you're being you're complying with their order to exit the vehicle, but you're still recording the encounter, and that's very important when you uh, deal with. Uh, uh, addressing your your legal grievances against them in a federal court. And so my recommendation for you all is keep a personal recorder, one of those small little recording devices. They have digital ones, um, which I, I recommend. Also, there are apps that you could download onto your phone that also will audio record the encounter. And as much as possible, be in a, an area where uh, if you, you do get stopped, it, to the extent that you're capable of, 
be in an area where there are people and eyewitnesses because that's what the, the police don't want. They don't want others to also record them. And you can, you can simply say to people that are uh, around in that area, please record this, you know, encounter. And most likely there will be someone there that will be willing to record the encounter because, hey, let's, let's face it, you know what, we're all whether you're a sovereign citizen or whether you're a sovereign rather or whether you're just a, a regular Joe Schmo uh, citizen that still doesn't understand the complexities of, of common law compared to what w they've been forced upon you, the, their statutory laws. So you know what, ask people to uh, record the encounter as well and you know, um, as much as possible, have someone there with you. I know that's not practical in every s scenario and situation, but there is one thing I also do want to say to others out there that have recorded their encounters with law enforcement. Some of you are, are, are honestly, um, I'm going to say, uh, be honest um, and say some of you are just... Uh, complete uh, assholes, for, for the lack of a better word. Um, and I get it. I, I get the cops are assholes too. But right off the bat, you want to come across with this uh, attitude. And I understand you want to assert your rights, but there is asserting your rights and there is also showing respect. So I believe in showing respect to law enforcement because let's face it maybe you just found out about this and you're you're all of a, all of a sudden gun ho and want to defend your rights and and uh, you don't want to be told what to do and, and so forth and I get that but you know what there are a lot of law enforcement that don't understand this if you didn't understand it before and you've been in this country for how many years you've been here and you're just discovering this, and there's a, a period of time where you're just learning about uh, common law um, and your rights, your your God-given rights, then why not understand that maybe the law enforcement officer that you're dealing with may not understand them as well, okay? And so uh, show them respect. You know, show them the respect for the job they do. They're putting their lives out on the line. When, when there's uh, 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 robbery and, and arm, armed robbery and, and things like that, I guarantee you, when you're having a, a, an issue where someone's breaking in your house and, or you're in a situation where you need help, I guarantee you, you're going to be the, the first one to call them for assistance. So keep that in mind, okay? You know, and show respect to the rules of the road, even though you may not be under the the same um, uh, jurisdictional uh, limitations. But you know what? There there is a common sense to not uh, traveling uh, too fast or uh, in an unsafe manner, or just blowing uh, red lights or. or or stop signs. That, that, that's completely uh, bogus. Now you're putting other people at risk when you're doing that. So I believe as a sovereign and as a person traveling on the road, your first priority should be not just your safety, but everybody else's safety. Regardless of statutory law, regardless of uh, what they try to uh, uh, force upon you the simple fact of the matter is there is a safe way of traveling and there's an unsafe way of traveling and people even the the people that are unaware of all these things they're going to travel on the roads or they're going to drive on those roads with the understanding of those laws that are statutory that they believe that they have to follow well and you know you're entering in that arena 
if you will, with those people assuming that you're going to follow those rules as well. So don't be an asshole. Treat the cops with respect. Even if they're being disrespectful to you, let the video show, let your, your audio and video show that you were showing respect to the cop it was the cop that was belligerent. It was the cop that violated your rights. It was the cop that acted in a manner uh, not befitting a public servant. Okay, so right there, that is my recommendation to you. And that is how I um, suggest as an opinion, again, as an opinion, that you deal with cops that require you to exit your vehicle when uh, under the uh, assumption for a safety reason. Follow their orders and just make sure you're prepared for it. Have your audio recording device or app on, on you and functioning at the time. And, you know, uh, like I said, treat people the way you want to be treated. And that's it. So I hope. Uh, you like this video if you don't like it well ultimately uh, I am uh, putting this video out to help people so take it for what it is okay take care